The NVMe over Fabrics use case called compute storage disaggregation was really enabled by NVMe over Fabrics. This is because of the extremely close and in some cases better than local NVMe performance you can get with NVMe over Fabrics on Ethernet on Ethernet and, and because of Ethernet's ex economical cost points. And to make compute storage disaggregation even better, you can use Bluefield's snap offload we talked about earlier. Most of MDM Uber Fabrics compute storage dig disaggregation solutions today look like this. An x86 based JBOF with a PCI switch fanning out between the CPU and the, and the NVMe SSDs and uh, a network adapter. Of course, Bluefield um, fits nicely uh, and does, as we have shown earlier, you know, much simplify that solution. The but, in the, but the CPU is basically converting the NVMe protocol on the PCI bus to NVMe over fabrics over the network protocol, over that network protocol and, and the adapters that support it. This is a store and forward operation, so it has some inherent latency. And performance is also limited by the slowest component in the data path. For example, if the SSD gets faster, the CPU, PCI switch, and adapters need to get faster as well. This, of course, also increases the cost as faster CPUs, PCI switches, memory, and adapters are needed. Don't get me wrong, this architecture is doing very well in the market today, and the performance is much better than anything we had before NVMe were fabrics. But in the future, it may be possible to do better. What if we moved the Ethernet adapter port to the SSD itself, then remove that would remove the high perform or then remove the high performance CPU adapter, PCI switch, and memory, and replace them with an Ethernet switch and a small management CPU. Now, instead of a JBOF, we call it an EBOF. The problem is, the problem is now where do we put the storage management? because the storage management used to sit on that x86 or on the Bluefield's ARM processor. There's a couple of possibilities. One is the servers. One is the switch itself. Once one, and the final one is the SSD. But it's really hard to put storage management on an ethernet switch because it doesn't it sit on the data path. It just um, supports the network operating system and the ASIC switches the data, no access to it. Another place might be the SSD, but the problem is the SSD has a very small processor as well, and it can only manage its, its small piece of the storage. The answer of course is the DPU. Bluefield, um, is perfectly positioned and has all the, the right storage offloads to provide the functions needed, the discovery, the volume management, provide high availability. And then of course you have all the offloads um, that we've talked about earlier for things like compression and in, encryption of data and, and those sort of things. Our partner, um, our storage partner for Bluefield uh, Ingrass has developed some software that solves this management problem. It runs on either the server nodes or a Bluefield plugged into the server nodes and using SNAP, and it manages the um, discovery of those uh, Ethernet now based SSDs. It manages um, volume control, RAID, all those functions. Uh, and because of SNAP, the servers think they're talking to local drives when in fact they're talking to remote drives across the network. 